You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group Coaching Class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, July 24th, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Tuesday. First thing to know is Alphabet is on track to open at a record high after blowout earnings. Alphabet shares are on track to open at a record high this morning after second quarter earnings smashed expectations, allaying fears about immediate impact from Europe's new privacy rules. The Google parent company reported $3.2 billion in net income for the second quarter after Monday's closing bell, which works out to $4.54 a share after accounting for a record antitrust fine out of Europe related to its Android phone software. Without the fine, Alphabet would have reported earnings of 11.75 a share, the company said, well higher than the analyst's average estimate of $9.66. Uh, the second thing to know today is Harley, Verizon, and AT&T highlight a busy day of earnings. The busiest week of the second quarter earnings season continues today when 24 members of the S&P 500 report results. Harley-Davidson, Verizon, Lockheed Martin, 3M, United Technologies, and Biogen are set to report ahead of the opening bell. U.S. stock futures point to a higher open. U.S. stock futures point to a higher open as investors looked ahead to another wave of corporate earnings. Fourth thing to know here today is the dollar holds steady. The 10-year yield slips to 2.95%. Away from equities, the U.S. dollar was little changed, amid expectations the Federal Reserve would persist with its rate hikes this year. The U.S. dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, was steady at 94.39. Elsewhere in the bond market, U.S. Treasury prices edged higher, pushing yields lower across the curve with the benchmark 10-year yield dipping to around 2.95% while the Fed-sensitive two-year note was near 2.63%. And the fifth thing to note today is Bitcoin hits 8,000 again. Bitcoin prices continued higher, climbing back above 8,000 for the first time since mid-May, amid a raft of positive regulatory news around the world. Prices of the world's biggest digital currency were last up around 3.6%, or $286 at $8,000.30 USD on the Bitcoin X exchange, a level last seen on May 22nd. Meanwhile, Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, was up 1.7% at Our second story today is from uh, Yahoo Finance. It's finance at yahoo.com. China stimulus ho hopes lift world shares to a one-month high. 
World shares hit their highest in a month on Tuesday as China promised fiscal action to support the world's second largest economy and stellar results from internet giant Alphabet underpin tech stocks. Wall Street was set for a short climb when it reopens with Google parent Alphabet, part of the so-called FANG stocks, expected to jump almost 5% after a better than expected quarterly revenue. Metal prices were also sharply higher thanks to the stimulus signals in Beijing, while global bonds were still sluggish following speculation that the Bank of Japan may soon trim its massive results. The euro had nosed higher on solid German manufacturing data, and though the dollar was having a largely quiet day, there were plenty of jarring moves in the merchant markets to raise the pulse rate. China's offshore yuan, meanwhile, hit a one-year low in Beijing's government bond yields had jumped after the cabinet said it would pursue more vigorous fiscal policy and as traders bet on further easing in monetary conditions. The big story is that the Chinese currency continues to slide, said Society General FX strategist Alvin Tan. Our third story today is from cmegroup.com. The U.S. golf is a few months away from turning into a net crude exporter. The U.S. is still years away from being a net crude oil exporter. The U.S. golf region is, however, only months away from it. Weekly U.S. IEA data shows that the third week of June, the U.S. golf was for the first time a net exporter of crude oil. That week had particularly large exports, which did not repeat the following week, and the region was a net crude oil exporter for only a marginal amount. The U.S. Gulf is therefore not yet a net crude exporter on a multi-week basis. The trend is, however, clear, and we expect to see the U.S. Gulf become a net exporter of crude oil on a more sustained basis over the next 12 months. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Tuesday, July 24th, 2018. Your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com. The premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's live Advantage Group Coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider or via questions at the options insider.com. 